What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a sit down video and there is nothing more that I love than just sitting down and chatting with you guys. So today I'm just going to be talking you guys through the things that I have been loving recently. This is kind of just a compilation of all things lifestyle, beauty, fashion related, and really just are the things that I have been reaching for. So I have a lot to share with you guys today. So without further ado, let's just get into today's video. Okay, the first favorite for today's video is actually a jewelry brand as a whole um, and that brand is heart made of gold jewelry they are based out of los angeles california they are an amazing brand i think i first worked with them last year and i swear by their pieces they have the most beautiful collection um, they have a really good variety of kind of like good everyday pieces and also like if you did want to if you were in need of something for like a fancier occasion they've definitely got you covered on that front too um, what i love about the brand is that one the pieces are great quality and two um, they're not like super overpriced so you kind of get that like luxury jewelry feel without a very high markup so this is a brand that I swear by I wear a ton you guys have seen me wear their stuff before so I'm really excited to include them in my things I'm loving right now because I truly am and I've been wearing these pieces pretty much every day so let me show you what I've been loving time to dive into my favorite current heart made of gold pieces I'm actually wearing all of them right now because I not kidding you guys this is what I've pretty much been wearing every single day so the first piece of theirs that I've been wearing I have the names written down on my phone um, the first piece is the thin gold band which you can see here I wear this on my opposite hand from the one with my engagement ring and honestly when I first like got engaged I just kind of like stopped wearing rings because I just like wanted to focus on the ring itself but you guys know I love my little gold details and this little thin gold band is just the perfect kind of like extra little bit of sparkle that I need and makes me still feel so put together and so dainty so I've been wearing that as I said every day um, the second thing I've been wearing is the large oval hoops I love the shape of these and my favorite part about these is yes they do have sparkle but it's subtle enough that you can wear it with like your casual clothes and have it not look overdone so recently I've been wearing it a lot with just like a white t-shirt and like a very simple jacket and I do get my sparkle but it doesn't look silly together if you know what I mean so I love these and then that said I think these would be really great with like a more formal occasion outfit too because you do get that sparkle you could put like another sparkly layer earring in there somewhere and make it even more festive sparkly fancy um but yeah these are great so versatile i love them and i love the shape and i think they're the perfect size as well and then the last two pieces that i've been wearing on the daily are these two necklaces um the birthstone necklace and then the satellite choker so the satellite choker is just the perfect kind of like thin gold choker um you can wear it by itself but i love layering the two i saw these two necklaces specifically styled on the heart made of gold website and i was like yes that is so cute i need that in my life and then the birthstone necklace obviously i have the aquamarine one since my birthday is in march um and i just think it's so cute and again so subtle you get like a kind of little bit of sparkle color but you not but not too much that it's like distracting um so you can still really wear these with so much and every day um, so those are the pieces I've been wearing on the daily but I did want to give honorable mention to two other necklaces that I have from heart made of gold um, that I've had since like last year and they're just so good and I still wear them like on the reg and the first one is this little initial pendant you guys can see it's just so dainty it has my little L so the L could be like pretty much for anything love Lynn Luke you know but I love little initial pendants this one's perfect and again it layers so well I could even layer it with like the stack that I have going on right now and I think that would look really cute so an essential a staple and then the other necklace I wanted to mention is one that's a little bit more of a statement and I kind of like to wear this when I have like a chunky sweater on um, but it's just this little playing card necklace and I love the chain of this it's a little bit longer as well so again it layers really nicely but just so perfect again like what I love is just that like all of these pieces are so different but like you can put them together and have it look very like seamless and put together so 
10 out of 10 cannot rave about heart made of gold enough make sure you guys check them out yourselves because i promise you won't regret it the quality is amazing and they have so many fun styles to choose from so i'll have everything linked below so you can check it out for yourself but let me know if you do because i am just really loving them right now okay i have three beauty favorites i want to share with you guys i'm going to go through them quickly because now that i'm looking all this stuff looking at all the stuff i picked out to talk to you guys about today i'm like oh my gosh that's actually a lot of things so anyways the first beauty favorite is from dior this is the forever skin correct concealer i have the shade 3w0 i love this stuff i've pretty much been wearing this without foundation um i've been trying to wear like as little on my face as possible i found recently like i just don't like the way my skin looks when i have foundation on and i don't know if that's just because like my skin has changed or what's going on but i've really just been reaching for like concealer and calling it good and this one does the job it lasts so well it doesn't crease it's very smooth it's not super fragrant and it just looks really really nice on so absolutely love this i've also been loving the merit tinted lip oil this one is in the shade taupe um i do have like a more red color but i've been reaching for a lot of like just neutral like pinky nudes lately and this one it does the job so beautiful the formula is amazing you guys have heard me talk about merit before um truly a tried and true perfect natural effortless makeup and i love the taupe color so reaching for this a bunch and then the last favorite is something that is newer to my makeup collection so shout out to erin if you are watching this video because she is the one who told me about this product and got me hooked this is the makeup forever matte velvet skin blurring powder foundation so it is a powder foundation um, and it does come with like a little um, pad and everything. I have the shade Y245. Um, I don't wear this as a foundation. I'm just using it kind of like as a setting powder. So I use like literally the tiniest amount. I use a little brush and I'll just put it like wherever I need to like set the concealer or wherever I'm like prone to get greasy. So after I put on like my bronzer blush highlight I'll just kind of go in with the brush and I will just very lightly dab it um I don't want it to be like too much because like again I don't want it to be crazy I don't want to look cakey and again I'm not using this as a foundation but as a setting powder it's working great it makes my skin look so smooth and just really does the job and sets the makeup well so 10 out of 10 absolutely loving this not beauty related but kind of like skincare body related i wanted to talk about these two products both are from osea i love this brand i again i think i discovered them last year and their stuff like literally everything they have is so good it smells good it's it works well it's hydrating and it's just amazing so the first favorite is the osea andaria algae body oil you guys have probably heard me talk about this a lot if you follow me on instagram because i rave about it and you can see i'm about to be done with the bottle this stuff is amazing especially in the winter cold months when your skin is extra dry i pretty much use this instead of lotion these days um the only times I don't use it are like when I know I need to like get dressed really quickly and I don't want to think about the oil kind of getting on my clothes. That said, it does not really transfer. It's more just kind of like a mental thing, if that makes sense. But this stuff is amazing. It smells so good and it really just like nourishes you and makes you feel so hydrated and so smooth. Um, and then the other product from them, when I'm not using the oil, I like to use their body butter. This is something I like to put on like at night when i'm kind of just doing like a night of like self-care and self-pampering and i'm really just like going through going for all of the hydration this is what i reach for it smells so good you guys i don't even know how to like describe it like it smells like a little bit seaweedy super like sweet buttery i'm really not selling it but it smells so good it feels like you're at the spa that's what it feels like or that's what it smells like and then makes you feel like so if you haven't checked out osea already highly recommend pretty much like every single product they have i have some of their other stuff too but for the purposes of today's video i just wanted to mention these two products last beauty related item i wanted to share is actually the tool that i use to do my hair today 
Um, you guys can all tell I cut my hair off in the new year and of course I'm always looking for new ways to style it and honestly the easiest way to style it and I saw this on TikTok. There's a girl, I believe her name is Steph. I'll have her name on the screen somewhere, but she is so beautiful. She has short hair, she's Asian like me and she uses this tool a ton. So naturally I was influenced to buy it. I was a little hesitant just cause I've never really used a product like this before aside from like my regular curling wand. Um, but this is from the brand insert name here. This is just like a crimping tool basically and as you can see it's huge. Um, it does come with a glove which I haven't used but I probably should because this does get very hot. Um, but it's so much fun to use. It's so easy. I love how my short hair comes out with it um, and I just I think it's great. It makes doing your hair so easy. I like to just do it in two different layers and I think the key for using this is really to do it on like dirtier hair. So I will only use this like if I've slept on my hair for the night or if it's like two day old hair just because I think it holds the crimp a lot better and it just comes out a lot more natural looking I found that when I do this after like blow drying my hair or straightening it and my hair is too clean it doesn't work as well and give like the same effect so keep that in mind but this is so easy to use and it's super fun so love this i have two clothing items i want to talk to you guys about and the first is this jacket which you guys probably are not surprised to hear me talk about it is from jerf avenue this is the first choice jacket i have it in a size small and i think that's the perfect size for me um my favorite part about this jacket is that it does have the double zippers so you can kind of zip it up for like a more open look but this is the perfect casual everyday jacket. I think it's gonna be even more perfect in spring. Obviously right now it's a little cold for me to wear this on my, uh, wear it on its own, but it does layer really nicely under my wool coats. So, makes it more versatile. I just love this. It looks really, really great with just like a white t-shirt, jeans, and Converse. And then my favorite way to actually style it recently though has been with these pants, which are my second clothing favorite. And these are from Everlane. They, I believe they're like the barrel pant. Um, again, everything will be linked below. But I have these in a size six. They are the perfect kind of take on my green cargo pants that I wore in like middle school. Um, I love the shape of them. It's that balloon kind of barrel leg so you get that really easy effortless oversized casual feel. The color is perfect. It goes with this black jacket. It goes with any like cream sweater. goes with a blazer. It truly goes with anything and I probably wear these like twice a week minimum um and they're just so good so this with the jacket and a white t-shirt and converse has truly been my go-to um but these are just both such easy effortless pieces to wear great quality and i cannot get enough of them i did add a new pair of sneakers to my collection and i've been wearing these again a ton because these are the things that I'm loving right now um, these are the New Balance 5740s I have them in this really pretty blue colorway I love that they give off that like chunky sneaker vibe but they're not like they don't feel super chunky on because I think the most annoying thing is when you are wearing super chunky sneakers and you feel like you're gonna like trip all over your feet and like it's just not fun um, but these give that look but I feel very like normal wearing them. Um, the colorway is really what sold me. I love this blue. I think it's gonna be so cute in the spring, especially with like some little crew socks and some like loose shorts and like a tank. Mm, I'm envisioning it now and it just sounds so cute. So I love these, they're very comfortable. Um, I have wider feet, so they don't squeeze my feet which is good because i've noticed with a few other new balance styles that they're too narrow for me um but these are perfect and i love them they're comfortable and they go with everything even those green pants and that black jacket so so fun uh you can never have too many sneakers moving into more lifestyle things i wanted to mention this planner this is from Papier papier paper not sure p-a-p-i-e-r um and it is this custom planner it says big plans on the front and on the back it says go get them and then my name 
is on the front. Um, at first I was a little skeptical about this planner, but I have really grown to love it. And again, it's my tried and true. Um, it gives you like a weekly layout for each month. And then at the beginning, it gives you like the monthly overview, which I find super helpful. And then it gives you like a breakdown too, before you get into the weeks of like the month at a glance and leaves you room for notes. So there's really just like a ton of places to write stuff down. Um, I obviously got a lot going on, but um, it's great. I love it. I think it's super cute to look at. I feel motivated when I look at it and it's really just a good layout. So, and it's not too spendy, which is nice as well. So check it out. Okay, before I end this video, I wanna include my book favorite, my music favorites, and my television favorites for the moment. Um, book favorite, I would love to show you the book, but I actually already gave it to my sister because I wanted her to read it because it was that good, but it is called Peach Blossom Spring, and it was just a very beautiful story about a family um, kind of going over, I think it's like 70 years total that it covers, but three generations of people who in this family they start in china and then they end up moving to the u.s and it's just like the most beautiful story i don't know if i've ever related to a book that much it felt very personal um it was beautifully written and i just like loved every single second of it and it's truly going to be a book that i will hold on to and remember forever so if you're looking for some good meaningful literature Peach Blossom Spring, TV shows, if you guys listen to the podcast, Basically Anxious Pod, um, you'll know I talk a lot about Korean dramas on there, and that's because lately that's pretty much all I've been watching, um, but most recently I want to mention True Beauty. It's a really great, just like lighthearted show. I don't know about you guys, but lately I feel like whenever I go to watch TV, I feel like I need to be watching something light and fun just to kind of like lighten my mood and just kind of tune out a little bit and true beauty is truly the perfect show for that um it's a story about a girl she's in high school she's ugly and it's really just like finding it's really about just like finding like the beauty within yourself looks aren't everything um and it's just like very entertaining to watch and very wholesome and so funny so loving that Music wise, I have recently discovered the band called Astro and they are a K-pop band and they are just so fun to listen to. All of their songs are like super upbeat, super catchy. You can't feel sad when you listen to them. Um, and they are just like so talented and so, so cool. So I've been loving them. I've also really been loving the song um, by Khalid. It's called da 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 uh what's it called i think it's called present yeah it's called present Khalid can truly do no wrong i swear every single song he comes out with is just like the most vibey bop ever and it's just like perfect for like any occasion so loving that oh and then another tv show i did want to mention is something that's currently airing right now it's a show i'm watching with my sister it's called 25 21 and it is just so cute so so wholesome and if you have netflix which i'm assuming all of you do most of you do um this show is on there and it is so well done i'm gonna leave it at that look it up 25 21 um but yeah those are my current favorites the current things that i am loving right now thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment below let me know what things you've been loving lately if you have any book recommendations music recommendations i am always open to hearing from you guys um also make sure you guys check out heart made of gold jewelry you guys will not be disappointed they have the best selection and the jewelry is just so amazing and i can promise to you it's going to become things that you reach for in your daily get ready with me so that concludes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna go but i hope you guys all have an amazing week